Today, I am putting Wrexham in a 100,000 seat stadium, a team in the 5th division of English football in the non-league to see if they will succeed with a massive stadium, making it the biggest stadium in the country. Now, this is not very realistic, but we are going to imagine what would happen. So I'm going to go over to the game, click into the editor, edit club details, and change their club attendance to 100,000 their minimum club attendance to 100,000, and their maximum attendance to 150,000. You know, just giving them room to grow if they want to expand their stadium. And then I'm going to the facilities and changing their stadium to feature 100,000 seats with an expansion capacity if they want to, to 150,000 seats. Are they going to expand it? I sort of doubt it. It's pretty good already. Currently, they're in the National League, as we said, so let's see what happens. All right, I made myself the manager of Wrexham. Let's check their attendance. Going over to the schedule, checking in on last year, and the attendance was unsurprisingly quite high. With their home games getting 95,000 people to go see them, that is pretty good. Even a preseason friendly getting 35,000 people to come to the stadium. And that attendance only got higher as the year went on. However, I've got some bad news. They did not get promotion. They finished in fourth place inside the playoffs, but got knocked out in the first round and will not be getting promoted. Finance-wise, it's looking pretty good, most likely because of the massive gate receipts they're getting. If we take a look, sorting by last season, they made 39 million pounds in gate receipts and 10 million in match day income. That, that is a huge number for a club in this level. And they are spending some of that in the transfer budget and payroll, which are surely some of the highest in the league. They've got several players in the media Dream 11 and are expected to get promoted next year, so we'll check in again and see what happened. We're back, and good news, Wrexham secured promotion in their next season. Still having absolutely, in still having absolutely insane home attendance, 95,000 right there. Playing very well with that attendance. Raking in the money, still not spending nearly as much as they're bringing in. Although they are starting to pay players a decent amount, it's not really insane. They have been spending on transfers, but nowhere near the budget again. And no one's shocking coming in. Despite a £45 million transfer budget, they are spending nowhere near that. They're also only spending £4.9 million per year on wages, so they've got some room to grow. However, it seems to be working. They got promoted. They're in League 2. The media prediction is for them to get promoted in second place, which I'm sure they are big fans of. They've got one of their center backs in the media Dream 11. That is a pretty good center back for League 2. He actually came down from League 1 to come play for them. But yeah, nothing shocking so far, so let's go a year ahead in the future. Their attendances have remained high, and we'll see if it keeps happening. We are now six years in the future, and Wrexham have found themselves in League 1. Last season, they placed in 5th, getting into the playoffs, but not achieving promotion. Have they made it up to the championship? They've not. They established themselves in League 2 pretty quickly, immediately getting promoted, unsurprisingly. And then they hovered around the mid-table of League 1 and just moved themselves up to the playoff contenders. Finances looking very strong. They've got a large transfer budget and a large payroll budget, which they are using more of now, spending £19 million a year. If we go to the transfers, they do have a transfer coming in. A transfer going out, that's a loanee, we're going to ignore that. But they are spending some money, there we go. Alright, starting to spend, getting comfortable with the money. Bringing in someone who was playing in the Premier League to come play in League 1. This guy looks pretty good. As well as bringing in players from the Championship to come in. Building a very, very strong team with not spending that much of their transfer budget. They are raking in the money for Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney right now. That, that attendance is too high for them. They literally have so much money they can't spend it, which is crazy. Salaries, nothing crazy. Definitely a lot higher than your average League One salary. They've got three players over here that would be beating the record for the maximum League One salary ever paid, which is pretty crazy. And no one with outrageous transfer values. Got some good young talent, but no Messi in the team, right? They're not going crazy with the money. They did win the FA Trophy. I didn't see that. And they have been upgrading their youth and training facilities. That is very good. Surprisingly, no stadium upgrades. Just kidding. Not really a surprise. Pretty unimportant for them right now, considering their 100,000-seater stadium in very good condition. It is apparently hosting Champions League games as well as Europa League and Conference League games. Not quite sure when that's happening, considering Wrexham are the only tenant, but maybe one of the Welsh teams is getting into it. I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's going to be one of the other Welsh teams using it for the qualifiers. Got it. That makes a lot of sense then. But overall looking pretty good. Let's head to the end of this experiment and see if they can make it to the Prem. 
Here we are now in 2031. Wrexham's bank balance is on the decline. They are finally spending a lot of their transfer budget, and they're spending £46 million per year on wages, which is crazy. However, they're still raking in the gate receipts. Has attendance dropped at home? It has not, surprisingly. Still getting around 95,000 fans to home games. That is quite good. And, as you can see, they are in the championship. Since we left them in League 1, they took a while to get settled, and then went up in the next season from that 5th league position we just looked at. Got promoted the next year, bounced around just on the edge of relegation in the championship, and finished in 10th last season. This season, they're projected to finish 9th, around about where they were last season. And obviously, no players in the media Dream 11. However, they do have a key player here. He looks really good. I totally understand why he's there. And as you can see, he's making a decent amount of money, 2.9 million pounds per year, making him the highest paid player. They've also got some other people on similarly crazy amounts of money, though. So they are finally spending all of that gate receipt money. However, these are not insane salaries for some of these teams just got relegated from the Premier League. They could be spending just as much of this, so they might actually have to do this now. And if we go into the transfer history, woo, they've been spending £46 million that year. So they are actually finally spending some of this money. Oh, he came in from Man City. All right, that's unsurprising why he cost that much then. Bringing in some pretty big signings. They are finally stabilizing themselves here. However, what does it look like in the future? Are their projections any good? Projections to continue to lose money. They don't seem to be reaching profitability anywhere here, so that could be pretty bad for them. Their wages are really high. They're going to need to cut back on something at some point. Have they won anything since? They have not. So they're seemingly going to be a mid-table championship club now, which is not bad. So what do you think? Is this what you expected or is this not what you expected? I'm pretty surprised to be honest. If you want more surprising experiments like this, I turned the entire Premier League into complete amateurs. No one was allowed to spend any money, quite the comparison to spending a billion pounds per season. So please subscribe and click the video on screen now to see that video where the entire Premier League turned into a league of complete amateurs. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.